eh, Risa, Ed eh, y Abby. <laughs> uh, okay, I introduce myself. Okay, <laughs> the It's very difficult to pronounce, I know. Okay, let's uh, wow. first uh, share my window, my screen. Are you seeing my presentation? Yes. Can, yes. You, can, can you see my? Okay, that's yeah. good. Uh, my name is Muhammad Reza Ishtahadi. You can people call me Reza. That's much simpler. And uh, I, first of all, I would like to thank Edgar Ali and Ali for, for organizing this interesting conference. I'm going to use my time to give an overview of, on some projects that we are dealing with um, right now. Uh, of course, I will not go very deep on this project because the number of the project that, and time that I have, uh, but uh, I would like to introduce my group, the Soft Contest Matter Group at Sharif University of Technology, uh, where we are interested to anything soft, from molecules to human. Uh, and, uh, just starting from the molecules, I have to say that mostly we do molecular dynamic simulation of biological systems. And for the more, uh, I just, I would like to give a sh short advertisement for the three presentation that my group will have in the next days. The starting from, from the NEDA's work, that is thermal conductivity of the cell membrane. That's in somehow, if we look at the title of the conference, this seems most relevant work of my group to the conference. It has water, heat, noise, and is important to the life. As we know that the temperature is very important to the life, and if the temperature is important, then the temperature difference is important, and then the thermal conductivity is important. And Sneda is uh, going to talk about the import, uh, how uh, thermal conductivity of the membranes uh, can be affected by presence of the other kind of the molecules. The, the next talk is Najlo's work that she will say us about the, how we uh, we should we care about the change of the environment when we are calculating free energy in when a molecule is going to pass through the membrane that's a very important process because for example if the uh, some if some drugs are going to reach the inter internal space of the cell it has to pass from the membrane then it feels a barrier a free energy barrier when passing the membrane and the question is when we are trying to calculate the free energy uh, of this of such kind of the process uh, the molecule the drug is uh, starting to move in a uh, water environment and then goes inside the membrane the environment is changing then the partial charge it's uh, passing is changing during the simulations, but usually people are not care about the dispartial char. And Najla will say us how we can switch from one force field to other force field along the simulation. The third talk is uh, giving is to is giving by Mariam Azimzadeh. The, she was my postdoc in the group and. Right now, assistant professor in Shahid Beish University, and Mariam is going to say how sugar and glycan are important in immune system of human body. That's all of this talk has been scheduled to be presented in on Friday, and just now I would like to go to the other researchers of the. Uh, other research that our current field is doing in the group. Uh, starting with Zahra's work. Zahra is a PhD student, senior PhD student. She's going, she's going to defend uh, in a couple of the months. 
and she's working on statistical mechanics of linear catenanes. Uh, when we say the catenanes, that means i uh, talking about a chain of some uh, rings polymers that are connected to each other, and uh, the number of the uh, chain uh, rings if is n, we call that linear n catenanes. In sometimes you can have branch catenanes. And the question that Zahra is trying is uh, answered is how radius of the gyration of this kind of the chain are scaled by m, the number of the beads inside an, any ring, and then n, the number of the rings along the chain. And well, with a flurry uh, type theory, she could find that the exponents are different for m and n, mu and nu, 0.64 for m and 0.6 for n. And with uh, huge simulations, she could show that the result of the simulation is good agreement with the, this theory that uh, this simple flurry approximation that we have for the catenanes. And here you can see that's the chain difference of the radius of gyration in terms of the changing m and also for n. And here you can see that synthetic values that's approaching these numbers that is very good in good agreement with approximation. Also, she looked at the effect of solvent uh, quality. The lambda parameter here is a parameter that's co controlling the uh, interaction between the Leonard Jones interaction between the particles in somehow it's presenting quality of solvent and she could find the theta transition and look at the, uh, look at the uh, behavior of the chain around this right. theta point Reza, Reza, okay. what do you mean what do you mean by quality why do you call it quality of the solvent Actually, we in this simulation is a coarse grain simulation. That's here we don't have water, and all of the effect of the water and the solvent comes in just with the interaction that we have between the effective interaction that we have between the uh, okay. okay, I understand. Just okay. we controlling the uh, uh, the board and uh, the. Uh, uh, distance uh, parameter Missing. and uh, okay, okay that's good. Okay, okay yeah. that's it. Uh, and and also there are some other results in this paper that she uh, published in Soft Matter recently. If you are interested in that point, the other research of the group that we are dealing with that for a long time is a model that we call that virtual cell model. Starting with the work of the some student, uh, some students in the, uh, few years ago, and now Ali Farnudi, the PhD student of the group, is the main person uh, in developing the model and also the software. And we uh, have introduced the model in this paper in 2017 that showed that how this virtual cell that we uh, have introduced is um, able to show elasticity and deformation of the cells when it's sitting in different kinds of the substrate. And there is a GitHub right now for, uh, for the software that is available for anybody, but the model it has not, the so actually the software has not been released officially yet. And the model is uh, consists of the different components of the cell membrane. That we have two membranes: one external membrane, one uh, nucleus membrane, and a viscoelastic media that fills the space between two membranes, and that is representing uh, cytoskeleton of the cell and some chains that are, comp are uh, sitting inside the nucleus representing the nucleosomes structure inside the cell. And if you put all together, then we have a virtual cell that's with considering a, a substrate that's representing ECM, 
we can look at the interaction of the cell with the different kind of the surfaces. For example, here you can see how it changes the shape when it's sitting on a hard or soft substrate. And <clears throat> I'm not sure that the movie are seeing well. That's because of the... Uh, no, can you see see the movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. And also, the model is good in uh, prediction of the stem cell structure and shape when we put the, the cell above a different kinds of the substrate with the different topology. That people are able to do that in the experiments, and we have shown that the model is in good agreement with the experiments in such a way. Now we are doing with uh, this model a few uh, pro projects. Uh, chromatin dynamics inside the nucleus is the main project of Ali Farnoudi. is in collaboration. It's in collaboration with Rolf Everest in Lyon. Cell mobility is something that Sajjad Sadegude, my master students, is uh, introducing to the model. That's the model. This uh, object can be, uh, move. Uh, in the according to the some difference in the um, properties of the substrate or uh, some chemotax, uh, chemical arounds that so we can we, it can show the chemotaxis or durotaxis or topotaxis or something like that and why virus budding is something that Hoda Shiza did as a master student and now two undergrads are going to continue that work. All is doing all, for all these projects. We use this virtual cell sim, uh, simulator. The <clears throat> other thing that's now we can go through is um, from activity of a, a cell. We can go to the activity of the many cells when we have many cells that are. Uh, growing uh, above the surface, for example, this kind of the bacteria that are growing. If, if we have the culture of the, this bacteria, and you see that's in high concentration, they are making some nematic phases, like uh, nematic phase in cri liquid crystals. But in this case, because the objects are uh, alive and growing, we have some kind of the activity, they are moving, and they are, the stress is uh, going to increase in some parts when there are more bacteria there. And this kind of activity uh, can affect the dynamics of topological defects and the, this kind of the uh, media. The, we call it active nematic. We actually learn from this paper that's if we would like to look at the nematodynamics of the active matter, active nematics, we can start from Erickson Leslie theory for nematodynamics of the liquid crystals. Three, the equations are the same, the diffusion equation, Navier-Stokes equation with the terms of, uh, for external pressure and internal stress, as a stress is defined in that such a way, and a uh, an equation that's governing on the uh, behavior of the uh, nematic order uh, parameter. And when we are going to go from liquid crystal, passive liquid crystal, to active nematics, we have to add two source terms to diffusion and the stress, because by growing the particles, the concentration is not conserved. We have a, uh, production of the particles, and the, when the par particles are producing, the stress in that point is increasing. Adding these two, two source terms, we have a mo uh, more complicated, usually solving the nematodynamics equation is very complicated, nonlinear equation, but having these two source terms makes the problem a little more complicated. And we are uh, doing, we are now have some kind of the um, simulate, sorry. Well, we have some kind of uh, um, finite difference simulation that's solved to solve the equation to see that how the defects are active. This is a, 
initial condition for the system that we have and you this is for the director field and you can see some defect topological defects plus my uh, half plus half and minus half and minus half and here you can see the lost field of the this active media and we now see that so how the activity can uh, produce some kind of the movements and sometimes annihilation of the charge, topological, topological charges. And something that we are working at that point right now to see the, the activity of the defects in this kind of the active pneumatics. Mohammed Fazil Zadeh and Ali Reza Hashemi are two master students working in that project. Uh, excuse me, can I ask a question? Uh, yes, of course. What is the boundary condition here in this simulation? Here the, we have the fixed boundary condition, but uh, what we can do that's the same with the periodic boundary condition also. Okay, so you see a similar thing with. Periodic. Yes, that's yeah. Okay. We can do. We can make it is um, periodic, but in this movie it's fixed boundary okay. condition. Thanks. You're welcome. And the next one is something very close to ASIA's work, that's when we have a particle moving in space and have the collective mode, we call that active media, active uh, matter, and we are all familiar with WeCheck model that have a alignment term when the particle are moving, any particle would like to move in the direction of the particle in the neighborhood. And what the question is, uh, when they are approaching each other, and uh, what can uh, control uh, that, we, that we avoid a crash between the particles, the two birds when they are flying, we don't they don't like to crash and it's in the sky. And there is some kind of the repulsion interaction that is applying to the particles in some kind of the torque that's changed the direction of the movement when they are approaching each other. And with this kind, this uh, model, we have shown before, that's uh, the work that Hamid Said al did in a few years ago, uh, that uh, we can, uh, reproduce the structure four fold symmetry uh, defects of swimming bacteria in confined uh, environment uh, in the CR simulations. That's something that we know we are interested. If we go to the three dimensions and start with um, the same model in three dimension. And uh, Ali Tai, master student, is doing that. We can see that and use the same model. We can see that the, all of the features of 2D model is preserved here. We have, we, again, we have symmetry breaking due to a velocity alignment. We have plucking. But in the three dimension, there is something very interesting that we can have big turn something that Asiya told us that is in interest of the people working that uh, kind of this uh, model. And just to see how it's a big turn, this is an artistic uh, representation of the result of Ali. Just you can forget the background, uh, but the particles are moving in a periodic boundary condition and you can see how the big turn uh, appears in the, in the movement of the disc particle is like a membrane of the bird. Uh, just to, uh, as you are seeing this movie, I would like to thank our collaborators, Ali Hassan Ali, Ralph Averes, Christos Likos, Mikhail Loon, and Murtaza Mahmoudi, that all are helping us in the different projects that I have presented here. If Thank you for your attention. Thank you very nice, very, very much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you very much for this nice talk. Uh, we have time for a couple of questions. Can I ask another one? Sorry. Sure. Uh, if you go back to the uh, 2D um, uh, picture, yeah, this one, is it like empty in the middle? Yes. Yes, there, there is, and even in the experiments, you, ha you can see that there is a low concentration in the middle. Okay, but is there a reason for that? Just... Uh, because, because because there's some kind of alignment the particle have with the walls. The walls are 
the, here we have a confinement and the particle when approaching the wall moving in the direction of the walls and always i would like they would like to stay in the borders and is no there is no reason to come inside okay okay good yeah thank you mm. can i ask a question yeah. it's hot. um i i would like to know more about this uh, virtual cell simulator model what is it uh, based on and uh, what uh, kind of properties can we uh, find is it uh, only for the whole uh, behavior of the cell membrane and uh, or we can uh, see some interactions between cell and something else and uh, can you explain yeah. it more thank you yes and uh, as i thought that, that we have a, a triangulated membrane that has uh, everything is doing in here we do md simulation for the any part and uh, part, nodes that we have here there is a mass for any node and we have all of the kind of the interaction that we need here for the uh, uh, triangulated membrane we have both bending uh, rigidity and uh, young modulus between the uh, links and to uh, present a membrane and there is some kind of the mount color jumps between the links that produce some kind of the fluidity for the membrane for viscoelastic uh, media we use a uh, work uh, maxwell model to, rep to reproduce the, the correct rheology of the cell and for the uh, chains uh, that which are representing the chromatins, we, we just have a model of the bead and the spring that we put all together to make the chain. All of and the, all the parameters come from the experiments, for example, the bending, the young modulus, the rheology of the cell, all comes from the uh, experimental data. And just for the uh, adhesion with the uh, substrate, we have some points in the between the surfaces and the membrane that can produce can we, we can we can have a link or we can have a broken link between them that's all of the things that we need and we this uh, interaction that we have we just let the cell sit on this surface here for example the member even the substrate is has some kind of the uh, a, a stiffness here is really stiff, it's softer, and with uh, some kind of the viscoelastic media, we represent the substrate also. 